Hello, welcome to the children's sermon on Sunday, November the 15th. I'm so glad you came today, and I want to tell a story. You do? What's the story, Frank? Well, I'm going to ask you, Buford, this is Buford the Buzzard, my friend. Hi. I'm asking him if he'll help me tell some of the story of Jonah. Oh, yeah, I'll do it. What do we do? Well, just you help me tell the story, and I'll ask you to do some things and say some things, and we'll tell the story. And I have a special guest coming, too. <gasps> Who's the special guest, Frank? Tell me, please, please. Well, you'll see, and all of you will see when the special guest comes as we tell the story. So it starts off right now with Jonah. He has already gone to the city of Nineveh, and he has told the people that they have been sinning and they've done wrong things, bad things. I can tell them, I can tell them. Nineveh is bad. You're bad, bad, bad. Is that good enough? I, I think you got the point across. So they had been bad and doing the wrong things and not doing what God wanted them to do. And so they needed to repent. I'll tell them, repent. Well, that's good. But what that means is, they need to say they're sorry. You need to say you're sorry. Good. That's good enough. Now, what happens is the people decide in Nineveh to repent and say they're sorry. No. Really? Did they really say they were sorry? That's right. They did. Hmm. Well, what happened is Jonah didn't like it. He didn't want God to forgive the people. So he climbed up the hill and waited to see if the people sinned again so God would have to punish them. I got this one. I'm going to go up the hill. Boom, ba -boom, ba -boom. I'm up the hill now. What happens next, Frank? Well, what happens next is a tree grew. A tree? Yeah. Look over here. See the tree on the dresser over here? Frank, that tree is not big enough. Well, it'll have to do. It's the biggest tree I had in the house. Okay, so the tree grew up. What do I do? Well, you get mad. <clears throat> well, that's pretty good for being mad. And he was mad. Why was Jonah mad? Well, he was mad because he thought God was going to let the people continue to be forgiven. Is that what happened? You'll see in just a minute what happened. So, the tree is there. And Jonah is sitting under the tree. I can't get under the tree, but just pretend you're under the tree. I'm under the tree. Okay, and then what happened, watch, and you'll see. A worm came out. Hi, I'm Calvin the Caterpillar. That's right. It's Calvin. What does he do? What are you going to do? I come over here and I go... He's eating the tree. He's eating the tree. Oh, and he's moving it out of the way. And oh my goodness, there it goes. And the tree is gone. And that made Jonah really mad. I am so mad. Hm. And he was so mad that he wanted to just die. I don't want to die. Well, just, just say it just for the story. Oh, I want to die. And what happened was God spoke to Jonah and said, Jonah... Don't you think I should be forgiving the people because they have repented? They've said they're sorry for their sins? I don't like it. And that's what Jonah did. He didn't like it. And that's so sad. I don't think that makes sense, Frank. If they are forgiven, we should have a party for Nineveh. I think you're right. Let's have a party for Nineveh and all the forgiven people. So you see, we need to be excited when people are forgiven. When they say they're sorry and they receive God's forgiveness or we receive forgiveness from people, we need to celebrate and be happy with them. Okay, let's have a party. Well, before we have our party, let's have a prayer. Okay. Dear God, we thank you for this day and we thank you for your love that you give to us. And even when we make mistakes or we do something wrong or we sin against you. We know, Lord, that we can be forgiven if we'll say we're sorry. Help us now, Lord, that we might remember your love 
and share your forgiveness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, you can say amen. Amen. And that's from Buford the Buzzard. And look, here comes Calvin. And Calvin's waving his head saying bye-bye too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.